I tell you, I gotta, I gotta um, tip my hat to those British heroes, real life heroes that rescued all those those boys. Those. Yeah, the, more than two, a thousand people. I mean, collectively, probably the Thai government. But you know, you know what impressed me? What Ellen DeGeneres said when Jerry Seinfeld was questioning her about her appeal um, doing the show. She says, "I just, I don't see what what the appeal is in me. I just want to be a good person well, and help people and to I be tell nice." People about Oprah, I don't understand the attraction about. Yeah. No, I mean, Ellen DeGeneres says, I just want to be a good person. Yeah, but I, I, Oprah, I don't understand the attraction. I don't understand where the talent lies. I just said, no. what's the attraction here? I said, I don't get this. And how does one that doesn't really stand out in any way, shape, or form become a multi-billionaire? Oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I don't see much to, much to Oprah. Some friend of mine who's... Um, a musician who uh, play, he plays acoustical and electric guitar. He became a fashion designer. He makes tie dye um, uh, clothes. So anyway, he has fashion shows. He just showed me how people steal your ideas and don't even give you credit. Like like it's like I says that's like plagiarism in, in publishing. That's why you should have trademarking and copyright. That's right. Don't do it. Though. Yeah, Paul Paul Anthony Manthea got screwed. Somebody copied his design for for furniture for a chair. He showed it to me. Let's hope he's telling the truth too. Well, he showed me his yeah. and theirs. And maybe they had theirs before his. And, you know, that's why you are your courts. You know. Yeah. You don't know. I mean, stealing of ideas, inventions—that's nothing new. Yes, it is. That started just a month ago. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, but I'm. I'm. She was so humble. That's what I admire. I, I admired about her, Ellen DeGeneres. Her humility. You know, but you can see the sincerity when she, when she how she looks, how she talks. <coughs> I got a lovely uh, bill from Holy Name. I called them up. I said, When are you going to stop sending me these bills? What's next? I says, You mean my my two insurance cards didn't quite cut it. They said, "Oh, you owe us a thousand dollars." I says, "Guess what? Guess what? I'm having I'm having complications a little bit with the surgery. Number one, number two, I'm not paying the whole amount. Thousand dollars? No, come on." I says, "I said to him, I'm giving you a hundred dollar. I'm giving you a hundred dollar check. If they want to be, if their CEO wants to be greedy, you know what? I'll be stingy. They're getting a hundred dollar check." Gotta love our healthcare system. That's why the the big Trump, Trump, Trump was announcing his uh, upcoming visit to the United Kingdom. <laughs> yeah. Wait until he sees the blimp they go, they're going to be flying wherever he goes. Oh, I told you about that yesterday. The baby, he called the baby Trump. Yeah, but he says the easiest meeting is going to be with Putin. This guy the is easiest. a moron. He kisses Putin's ass. And insults our, our allies. He's yeah. a moron. No, but I really, I'm really grateful that every, yes, every, yes. oh, let me ask. Do we really have yeah. a president? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm really grateful everyone was saved in Thailand from the cave. I'm really thankful for that. Uh, our so-called. <laughs> no, no, always get the point. Do we really have well, a president? Well, it's not, this is not like you, you know, like, yeah, let me ask you cut to the chase. You, you, you're in a hurry. Well, yeah, you do. Remember All right. that. Cut to the chase. All right. Do we really have a president? Does our, is our president let me ask it. really a moron, Donald Trump? Oh, God. Hmm. Well, he pro he probably if it wasn't for his father, he probably probably would be nothing. His father wasn't much either. Yeah, he was a slumlord. Personally, I don't feel like we really have a president. 
Do we? There you go. There you go. Is Trump an absolute idiot moron? Look how big this one is. There you go. You think I should go up there and say I want to? Sure. I want to thank you for having the air conditioning on. Go ahead. Just the bus's chops. Go ahead. And if it, go, don't wait before he leaves. Go ahead before he goes. Okay, but if, you know, go ahead. Don't go ahead. If, you start, if he wants problems, I'll just step outside. Go ahead. Where have you been? All the manager has to do is I'm I was so hot. I have it's called a baby baby. It has a McDonald's on. You said even remember I told you that's in construction? No, you're gonna have to come and see us. No, you know, it's just on the remodel. So make sure you come out and see us over there. She's doing good. She just came back from Texas today. Where? She wants to go see her daughter. See the part? San Antonio. Yeah. So she wants to see her daughter. Her birthday was July 6th. She's 27 years old. She just got married. She purchased her first home. So she's very happy. Oh. And she uh, wants to go see her daughter. And you get a lot, a big bang for the buck in Texas for yeah. mortgages at home. I will. Yeah, I will. You know, whatever you're going for, She named it South Fork Ranch? No. Oh. <laughs> J.R. Ewing? <laughs> it's been a long time. Oh, God, yeah. You're giving me my best Honey, please. Mom. Well, you be around the world or what? You don't oh, know. Yeah. Yeah. But we have, yeah, we have problems with the air and the heat. Yeah, I know, but Martin already took care of it, and we have we purchased a new unit too. I hope so, but yesterday we didn't yeah. go outside to get cold. Yeah. And the funny part was always near it the restroom was. Yeah, but it was a transformer, he had a change, and a compressor. Both. But this guy, how many guys? Yikes. I get a new repair guy. This guy's not good. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, he got somebody new already. Yeah, I had a time with him. Thanks for the morning. I think he turned me. Air conditioned refrigeration. The guy was. I know. I said, but I think it feels comfortable now, right? Yes, it is. But I told him, I think. Okay. It's like when you it's like when you call an office. You, you get incompetence. Like if you call a corporate office, customer yeah. service, it takes sometimes it takes time to find quality. Yeah. Well we did. We went with a different company. Yeah. We are mechanical company and they're really good. Yeah. You know, they come, they do what they gotta do. Thank God for reviews online. Yeah. We hope. Got a new unit coming in. Oh, it's coming in. Well, I know they told me some of these machines are older than the kids working here. No. Yeah, some of them are 25 what? years old. What? No, they're not. That's Somebody's what they, pulling your well, chain. 25 year old oh, machines. No. Yeah, they no did. Way. No way. You sure? These I'm people told me. 10% sure. Okay. You can't believe these me. people. No, oh, they told me to believe how old this machine is. It's 25 years old. They haven't even been working here that long. I would not know, but still. Oh my God. Really? You know what? That's like going to Walmart and believing what they tell you. Well. You know what's great about this location? Holiday Inn. Yes. Think about it. The Holiday Inn. Walmart can. They can't. They can't talk to you. Well, they're like. Well, they do talk to you, but they. They, they don't understand anything. You know, you know, you know what this. You know what the general manager said of the whole store in Garfield? He says to me, I said, uh, how come your, your shelves are empty? Customers like to see full shelves. Oh, we have an overnight crew that puts out stock. I says, well, that's nice. But then again, if they did, why are your shelves always wiped out? Customers like to see full shelves. I mean, because they think something's wrong with the product. That's true. Yeah. My friends even said over here at the Walmart right here, for a huge Walmart, they're always on a 
You mean Teterboro? Go online, you'll get it. We shouldn't have to. Well, I, I ordered it. It's cheaper online than they ship it for free to the store. And they email you. Whatever you do, don't buy this new synthetic underwear. Why? Well, for now. Until the next calamity. <laughs> We even use mysticism to find out about the air conditioning, the pendulum. Yeah. Well, well the blue eye chases. The, the, the blue eye. Hey, shaking us. You know, you know, we're, they care. Bye bye, enjoy. No, don't tell people we do mysticism. No, 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 no. Don't do that. No, no. Make us look like we're cool. We're deep. We're cool. We're special. Don't do that. Anyway. people looking at us and staring at it. That's private. All right. Anyway, it's a good thing I did go up there. Because we we learned some things. You made an impression. Well, I was being sarcastic. I was being sarcastic. Do you hear what I just said? I was being sarcastic. I'm trying to stop you from going on. No, I'm just going to say I did that for a reason. Like most people bitch, moan, and complain. And most people yell, bitch, and moan. I was being sarcastic. This new air, central air conditioning unit for this establishment, is it really going to be installed? Well, we have to establish the foundation question. Well, come on. You always start with. The, well, now you're the expert. The now, now you're the expert on it. Now. Hey, well, I'm not Mr. Foundation. Anunnaki, got, call yeah. your jets. Okay, go ahead. Go All right, what do you ask. want me to ask? I, I, I'll, I'll do it. You in football and baseball. Well, you gotta stop the swing. You mm -hmm. can't start with the swing. <laughs> okay, got it. You're swinging. Yeah. Want me to do it? It. Hold on, hold on, man. All right. In football and baseball, has there ever been? I was told I was the greatest. Has there ever been an arm like Billy Morrow's? In football and baseball, has there ever been an arm? like William H. Morrow, the third. Yes? No, it's usually no. Let me try. Well, I mean, I'm sure you were like in the top three. You know, I the greatest ever, so. Well, you just got off this politics. I don't know how you use it. I don't know. <laughs> Jimmy, in football and baseball, has there ever been an arm like mine? I don't know how to use this thing. No, you don't. You got so many. But I, I brace myself. I brace. You still have movement in it for some reason. I don't know. Oh wow! Look out! Look at his. Look at Anunnaki. I know it. Look at Akanuki. I mean Anunnaki. It's swinging like. It's Jimmy Madonna, my friend. Don't ask silly things. It's Jimmy Madonna, my friend. Part Anunnaki. Well, it's okay. I got somebody. It's okay. Somebody's got to be from somewhere. You know, every, you know. Am I part Oh, God. Is our acquaintance down here, Eileen? Does she have severe mental and psychological issues? Look how quick it went into that. Is she from, is her ancestors from the planet Dumb and Dumber? No, 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 no. Don't play, don't play. No, but she, her and Ray really are messed up. Don't play, don't make a joke. It's like the Ouija. Don't play. You better take it really seriously. Okay. And her going with Ray is, uh, that's very sick. It's very gross. 
and sick. Oh, I can't see the two of them make it. I just can't see what a prize he was that she ran out of here without saying goodnight. That, that was that was another uh, shocker. That's why I wish she was here. I want to say, what was that? You left the other You ran after her. Listen, you asked when you would say goodbye. Next time she comes, I come in, I sit down, you start, and then I'll just keep on seriously uh, with a poker face backing up everything you say. That, that girl, our acquaintance here at McDonald's, Eileen, does she have a, an incredible imagination link? make up an awful lot of stories. I'll give you I'll give you an example when you think does she does she lie an awful lot as well. Do you you know, do you remember when she said she made a dumb statement really oh, come on when doesn't she jimmy come on about the saint benedict's medallion she says she went to the, to the religious store and purchased one and her brother still stole her money oh, her now brother. how is the saint how is something that wards off evil going to stop a human being from oh, hey, stealing your money gonna get about her brother first start with the money has eileen's Did, uh, brother been has, stealing her money has our wacko acquaintance eileen's brother did he really steal her money? No. Kind of figured that. It, was it ridiculous that she said the St. Benedict's medallion should have stopped him from stealing? Yes. It's rid it was ridiculous for her. Of course it. You hear her talk, okay. Is our acquaintance Eileen overly religious, as in a fanatic? Is our acquaintance the very bizarre Eileen, Eileen a religious fanatic? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, incidentally, the, the Catholic priests really do use it for exorcisms. What? St. Benedict's medallion. I have no idea. Yeah, no, but about. demonic possession really happens. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I believe that oh, too. Yeah. And I don't believe it has anything to do with God. Well, it doesn't. It's other dimensions and things. Well, I don't. I don't think that a medallion would stop a person from ripping you off, even though it never really happened, Eileen. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's just whacked out. Oh man. Yeah. I haven't seen our friend uh, the with the bartender with the bandanas. I have the ba the bandanas. Wait, wait. With the, the the thin man that was sitting here that talks to us all the time the oh, one that was that one time the one that's going to apply yeah, we hardly see him we oh, don't okay. see him i saw him one time i see him once yeah. every eight nine months oh gee that's why when you said the bartender with a bandana i'm like what yeah well i left uh, the ones i promised him i left in the car well, anyway. i told him to go over there apply did i don't know if he did or not he looks very like a very personable smart guy I so did, did so did, uh, Ted Bundy and, okay. he, and he had a tie on too uh, sure so don't judge by look sometimes he looked like um, the other the other day from the players club remember the one that looked like he he looked like um, innocent looking you look like he he, 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 he he the one that parted his hair all the way on the side and it looked like he had a bowl on his head hey, when Brian? he got he was an insurance, not 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 Ryerson. No, the, there was another Dave who was a regular at the Players Club. No idea who you. Let's go for a second. And I then no I no idea who you're talking. And then about. I saw him at Illusions years ago. I have no idea. Of course, he aged like all the rest of the partiers. No, he wasn't. A, he was in. The, you sure I knew him? He was very conservatively dressed up. He a looked lot up, of them were. He was insurance. He was a typical insurance dude. Well, I don't know anybody that sold insurance that talked to me. Then we didn't talk about insurance, but I'd be bored to tears and say, "Well, who do you think's going to win the NFL this year?" I change the subject. You get to insurance. I don't want to call anymore. Insurance, especially life insurance, has to be the most boring any, subject. No, any insurance, not life, not auto, right. not motors, not home. 
I don't want to hear that, it. That's more boring than being an accountant. I just no, they're they're neck and neck. They're account they, well, they both yeah. are boring as shit. I mean their personalities are horrible. It's, it's like a dry heat sort of. I mean it, it could be like super humid and sticky like it was the other day. But um I mean, you know, you know what? Other people, other people would look at it as um, vandalism or a crime. I look at it as karma. Is when that general store manager's tires got slashed, all four, not once, not twice, but three times. He was a, a horrible man. He was so abusive with his mouth. His name is um, um, Shoprite in Rochelle Park, over on. Um, yeah, right by. Up from room four there. Yeah, what is that? Bas no, Basag Street? Basag Street. Basag, and then it becomes, goes to Burton Community College. Becomes, what is that, Paramus Road? Uh, guy, um, that was his name, which is a funny name. G-U-Y. -G I used to work there? When I was a kid, yeah. Um, back in the 80s, early 80s. Well, they've uh, been there that long, huh? Guy Karuba. Kai Karuba. He had that wax up there. Yeah, he was so freaking hit. And, but but what everybody, he was always um, innocent of everything. Everybody was, in, was beneath him. And they slashed his tires, man. And I was like. How did he reach store manager? And he, and, he, and he had the, the you know, these store managers in like retail and supermarkets, they have this big wad of keys that jingle when they walk. It's like a, like a big friggin... Like they're a janitor. Like a, ja like a custodian or janitor. Custodian, that's like saying you're a garbage man. No, I'm sanitation engineer. That, that's, what, that's what Ed Norton said, sanitation engineer. Let me see your degree if you're an engineer, okay? No, subterranean engineer or something. You know that that fat scumbag Newt Gingrich when he was oh, when he was bad. relevant. Oh. You know he wanted to make the children of single mothers collecting food stamps custodians in their school to help help pay for their friggin' food stamps. Yeah, he, it, it, didn't he run a cheat on his his wife? Who was pregnant? Yeah. It's a, he's a he's a. I never liked that guy. Oh, he's a I hypocrite. Never liked his story. You know my what? Little cat, my little cat Vincent couldn't stand it. We got him a new Gingrich stuffed cat it, toy. Destroyed it. He's, it's flat. He pulled all the stuffing out of it. <laughs> you he just tore that to. I, I have it at home. He tore it to shreds. And you know what? He reminded me of Rush Limbaugh because he had. They were both fat. It's a fake. Is not, listen, I don't care what political feelings or opinions you have, but be honest. Don't be a hypocrite. A don't lie to people. He's a politician, Jimmy. What do you expect from him? But just think of that. They're going to tell poor children, oh, guess what now? You, your mom's getting food stamps. You're going to have to be a janitor in your school. Well, but then again, look also how they have all this... Lunch shaming, or whatever they call it, where they almost embarrass the kid getting a free lunch because they can't afford it. Oh, That's oh yeah, they put them down. You don't do that. And you know what they used to do? They used to give these vouchers, these tickets out, and they used to the teachers used to say it out loud so the whole class yeah, know. knows who's getting the free lunch. Now, now, is that necessary? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Just hand the child. If I was a principal, I said, Are you an asshole? I said, what is your fucking problem? I said, you have a problem with me talking to you like this? Let's go to my office right now. We'll call the school board, okay? Because I don't like your attitude. Don't you hum don't humiliate. You want to put a child down and embarrass him at that age? Something I'll never get over and forget? I was like, I'm going to say it to you right now. Fuck you. Let's go call the school board right now. You can file a complaint. Just like those young children sleeping on concrete floors in cages. And now they're supposed to be getting together with their mothers. Oh, bullshit. It's due today. Nah, yeah. nah, nah. I think, I, I think it's done 53 to date today. Lies again. Nothing but lies. But let me tell you something. I have a feeling that this November there's going to be a big record turnout. Yeah. In whose favor, Jimmy? 
I hope in the Democrats' favor because well, the Republicans aren't doing jack shit. Well, those are the ones that are that are angry. If, not, you're, if you're angry, you Democrats, I am. I'm a registered Republican, I'm but I'm going all Democrats. I, the, my party has disgraced me. You're not doing jack well, shit. Well, the racist rednecks are you're, not you're angry. You're siding with a moron. I can't vote for you people. You're an idiot. I'll go with Democrats. You, you know what some of these... I, I think you're going to see a lot of Republicans go Democratic. They, they're saying that's so going some to Some of them are. A few of them they're are jumping ship. No, not a few. They're saying a lot are going to vote uh, Democratic. And you know and you know what some of these rednecks are saying online, these Trump supporters? They're saying they, they would love to volunteer and go down there and apprehend uh, Latin people that cross the border. They want they want to They want to tackle them. Go. Go. Oh, you want to be a big You're macho a man? Tough man, okay, tough guy. Yeah. On the keyboard, they're tough. Yeah. When they type on on we'll, the internet, we'll fly you down, okay? Come on, tough guy. They'll run. they run into. Uh, um, You're running your mouth off. They'll run into a car. You're your mouth. They'll run into a cartel yeah. and they'll get their asses yeah, kicked. Yeah, real tough guy. Huh? Yeah. Okay, go hot shot. Let me see how tough you are. They want to wait until the first one puts his fist through your face, then see how tough you are. Am I right, Jimmy? Yeah. You know, so you know, or get tough with big and a woman and a child. Oh, yeah. oh. You're, oh, you're a hard guy. Just like one of those ICE uh, uh, border patrols that shot this young Mexican woman crossing the border. Oh, you're a real tough guy. You got a rifle. You got a high-powered rifle, and you shoot a, an innocent, unarmed, unarmed, unarmed. Oh, macho man. Yeah. Just like the macho man that hunt grizzly bears. And they cheat because they wait until the grizzly comes out well, of its it's den. Not, it's not just the bear. Remember the, that moron Dennis a couple of years ago that killed the lion, Leo the lion or whatever his name was? And that girl about a month ago that killed the giraffe? Fucking ass. Oh, yeah, the blonde that killed hey, the I giraffe? I've got a gun. Now it's an even playing field. Let's hunt. Because you shoot back. Yeah, let's hunt. Okay? <coughs> it's not going to just stand there waiting for you. I'm going to get you. Unless yeah. you get me first. Hey, bullseyes. Are you ready? Go. Bullseyes uh, don't, yeah. don't shoot back. Let's Target. go. Let's go. I mean, of, co of course the bear is groggy coming out of hibernation. What a what, 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 oh, real tough guy. You shoot a, shoot a grizzly when he's coming out of hibernation. Oh, fucking scumbags. You know, Alaskan Kodiak grizzly, you got one good shot. You better make it good because those... The, your punk ass is like gone because they run like 40 miles almost well, 40 miles an hour almost 12 feet tall too and they run fast and they climb and they swim you can't go up a tree they'll come out your ass yeah and hey you get on the boat guess what he's gonna swim right after you even a tiger can is a good swimmer that's where my cousin used to live was kodiak alaska they're huge, ten, over ten feet tall, yeah, thousand pounds. Like this. I bet they can decapitate somebody with one swipe. Right. Yeah. They can even take their head off. Oh, for for people like Eileen that don't know what decapitation means. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't do any brain damage. They actually might do her some good, right? Let them prove. <laughs> Now you see how, how much how, how much better the quality of life gets when there's air conditioning. No, it still sucks, Jimmy. You're in a McDonald's. There's no better out there yet because of air conditioning. <laughs> it still sucks fucking swamp ass, okay? Oh, swamp ass, yeah. You know, I just... I just made an interesting observation. Okay. <laughs> All right. From here at McDonald's, our two acquaintances are, are Eileen and Ray. Eileen. Eileen and Ray hanging out together. Oh, okay. Help me. Look at that, right into a bed. Oh, my God. Maybe he's educating her. Ray educating. Oh, fuck. Well, he sounds like he knows it all. No, I know. No jack shit. I know. Hey, Billy. How's the football season? I said, it hasn't started <laughs> yet. Did you know that what's funny is whether I use deodorant, uh, cheap cologne, or nothing, or baby powder, my armpits always stink after after two days, no matter what I use. So it's almost I like... You're supposed to use daily. The deodorant is supposed to go on daily? Yeah, not, not wait two days, Jimmy. <laughs> Two days. Oh, a one, every day is supposed to go like this. Every day. Oh, I didn't know that. Do it. 
automatically when you're through showering. So I have. I'm, what I've do you been, think you're doing when you shower? It's off. It's gone. It's off. It's gone. Yeah. So I've been having swamp armpits this whole time. Every I do it every time. Okay. Oh no, you do that every day. Don't ever get. Don't ever get. Uh, swamp armpits and swamp ass. Deodorant and. Uh, oh. Any person. Don't ever get any person. Oh, it's aluminum in it. Or it's a wax. Why do you think you don't sweat? Is it sealing up your pits? Nope, no, but the antiperspirant has aluminum, just which is toxic. Always just get the odor. Plain old deal. Do not get antiperspirant. Yeah, because there is no aluminum. I had it on my one shirt. Yeah. Throughout the life of that shirt, 30, 40, maybe 50 washes, it never came off the thing. That's what's on your pits. Don't use it. Just yeah. get the odor. Plus, plus, the antiperspirant does have aluminum in it. Yeah, well, well, that too. But oh, I mean, by the so way, how does the old-fashioned razor work? That uh, uh, the one that said curly. Not good. You you try it uh, once. I took a little strip. Jesus Christ! No, but you got You got to tighten it. I'm no fool. Oh, so it sucks. Yeah. No, the blades are good, but the but the apple. I don't know, but I got the new ones today. Barbasol. That's real nice. No, what I mean, the Wilkinson sores are, are yeah, fantastic. I bought the Barbasols today. Yeah, Those I don't use nice. I don't use that the dollar store thing. I use the one that. It cost me twenty bucks. That from uh, I had for my dad was the best. Like your one, your, your yeah. father has stainless steel. It butterflied over. That's the one I have. Yeah. But I, but I had this thing where you got to unscrew, and take the whole thing off, no. and then put it back. Oh, no, no, no. Off. I got mine from Dr. Leonard catalog. It's like that. The, the man from uh, Porn Stars. Remember him? He was advertising it. He was advertising the old-fashioned one that yeah, butterflies up. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Or no, you can get it in stores. Yeah. But no, that's the one I've been using, and it. It works beautifully. Why? Because you can rinse the whiskers out. Well, you can with these too. These uh, barbasols are so wide, the blades are right out. Yeah. Well, I mean, with 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 the butterfly, like the one your dad had, it really, when you open it a little bit, it really it. rinses out. You know, dad couldn't shave himself, so. Yeah. But it gives you a, a close shave, I'd say, especially if you go against the grain. If you go up. But you gotta be, you gotta know how to go up. You gotta go easy, you know. A lot of these, a lot of these uh, people don't, you know. You gotta respect that blade when you're going against the green. Clint Eastwood. How much for a bath and a shave? That'll be seventy-five cents. And he's shaking his straight razor. How the hell do they go around the chin? That's what I like to know. That, that, that talk about making you nervous. You know, the mouth, the chin, the straight razor. And they still sell those, you know, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. They still sell those. Things. But, but it's a lot of work to get them sharp and to get, hone them just right, you know. It takes time. Too much. Too much work. Too much trouble. With today's technology, you don't need to do that. Well, I, got a, I have a whole bag of Wilkinson swords. Why would I want to give myself extra trouble? Well, I'm, I'm glad that my mom has been walking rather briskly and <laughs> she's gained she gained her strength back uh good, good, she's not caught she didn't cough not once last night thank good. god good. well she well we we've been giving her mucinex you ever hear that oh better uh since i've been adding flaxseed meal to her oatmeal fiber i told my sister you gotta have you gotta give her some kind of uh brand with the oatmeal because a lot of cleaning up to do though thank god she did it with the when the caregiver was there and not you know i didn't do anything in the middle of the night because she had you know she had done it when, when the caregiver was there then the nurse came from the caregiver agency the russian lady asking me the same questions i says nothing has changed and what does she do she asked me the same question i says what does nothing has changed really mean to you that means nothing has changed. That means everything that's in the computer stays the same. She asked me anyway. Redundancy is annoying. Oh, you know how I feel about that stuff. The long stories, I hate. But I really, uh, I renewed my car, my auto insurance. I, um, I get it through uh, the Hartford, AARP, the Hartford. 
And, uh, but that holy name, that bill, man, it's like, I said to the woman, I hope this is like the grand finale of my bills. Please, don't tell me it's going to go on forever. I hate to get the mail. I don't, I'm, I'm afraid to look at the mail. I'm like, oh, no, what is this now? Yeah, because you either get junk. It's never good. And bills. Nobody's sending you a check saying, we made a mistake. Please accept this check is our way of saying we're sorry. You never get that, do you? You never get well, that. Well, PSC, a, a public everybody, service. Everybody wants. Nobody wants to give. Well, does the cable company or, or public service ever do that? Nope. All your decades of being a, a great client, the next three months are all on us. But they, like, they love to just shut it off on you. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. people like to punish. They're fucking assholes. They like to punish you. I like the one I got. I told my friend Mike here this morning. I like the one where you call up and get the recording. Our current record show, your current bill is past due in the amount of zero dollars and seven cents. Wow, seven whole cents. So are you out of your fucking Could market? you picture somebody? No, you, know why, you know why? I don't pay bills with the cents. I round it off. You round it off. So if it was 5107, I paid 51. Yeah. Well, so I have all zeros. Well, according to accounting, if it's 0.5 or higher, you're supposed to round it to the nearest dollar. Yeah, so so seven. Yeah. What is this cents? What are you supposed to do? Write a check for seven cents? No. I didn't pay the 5107. I paid 51. So my current balance is seven cents. Now, could you picture somebody getting? Much help, Bob. Could you picture more. someone getting shut off for seven cents? Oh. And, I and, told the one guy once, I said, look at my, my history. He said, boy, you paid, I said, yes. I pay on time every month. And I, I get this bullshit from you all, and it angers me. I said, what have you all ever given me? Did you know I got screwed, you know? I got screwed over by my Chase Platinum card? I had 2.9% interest, and because the post office delivered my check one or two days late, they yeah. jacked me up to like yeah. almost 30% interest. I says, what about all the years oh, I, I paid on time? I said, do you all ever give anything as a way of saying thank you? For not years, but decades of, of, sir, of paying. I have a reputation from paying on time. <laughs> what, about, what about all the months I paid on time? I said, I have not missed one payment. Oh, you know what? They said they didn't care about the past. Oh, really? Oh, really? I'm oh, shot then. Oh. I'll go to buy a Fios or somebody else. I don't give them what's going to Yeah, and I, I meant the uh, Chase um, the Chase Bank Platinum car that I had. You don't care about the past, you fucking asshole. You're a moron. You're an idiot if you say that. That's that, the way you conduct business. That's like we were saying other days about companies having contempt for their customers and disrespect. You know, it's like, you know, you don't you care about my record. Uh, you know, um, when it's somebody... Called a, it's called a history. You don't care about somebody's history? Yeah, but when they interview somebody, uh -huh. they sure care yeah. about their history, right? Your credit history, your this, that history, everything right. else is history. Your resume? Now, when it comes out of my history, you don't care, huh? Okay, it's, it's selective. Yeah, you have a resume, you're being interviewed. There's your history. Why do you care? Oh, it's my history. Oh, it's my history. You care about that? Oh, okay. Credit, like you said, credit, sure. Where they make you angry. No, it's like, it's like them giving you the middle finger as a customer and saying, you know what? We don't give a rat's ass about you. No, they don't, they don't. You know? They don't give anything back. And then, and, and the incompetency. You should think they would have incentive bonus, meaning so many years, we're, next month is on us, next two or three months are on us. They don't give you a day. Like a bartender that yeah. throws you a free drink every now and then. What if you're sitting at the bar like for three hours buying drinks? The guy doesn't buy you one? And he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't throw you a, a drink every now and then. You know, and you're tipping the dude, right? Well, like my dad always told me, a tip is earned, not expected. I agree. I, I absolutely agree. And, and for some strange reason, a waiter, a waiter is more conscientious and, and remembers what you ask him than a waitress. Well, my dad always told me that too. Waiters. Your finest restaurants always have male waiters. You know? 
Oh yeah, with the linen tablecloths and everything, no, the candles. Yeah, I mean, good high high end right, restaurants. They always have meal waiters. Hey, when I was in w with my friend Jimmy Lavori, when we were in the uh, Trump's uh, Taj Mahal, they have the Maharaja's Palace all the way on top. Well, we had comp cards. You know, so. We went in, all waiters, linen tablecloths, candles, uh, a piano player, baby grand piano guy was playing. All waiters, sir. Is there anything I can get you? Anything you you want? I said, you see those? Uh, since being that it was free, I said, see the king crab legs that guy's getting, and the jumbo shrimp cocktail. Keep the crab, keep them coming, especially the crab. I wasn't good. Oh man, but I had, I had, yeah, yeah, I had. We had con cards. This has been a Mega Life Twenty One production.